Alina is trying to divide the cards from 1 to 9 into three equal groups of sums. Let's see if we can help by solving the 2023 AMC 8 problem 21. So Alina writes the numbers 1 through 9 on separate cards, one number per card. She wishes to divide the cards into three groups of three cards so that the sum of numbers in each group is the same. In how many ways can this be done? Okay, so first of all, three groups of three numbers. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The sum of each of these groups is all the same. Let's call, let's say the sum of each of these three groups is x. All the numbers are from 1 to 9. So notice that each of these values will all be different numbers from 1 to 9 because we're dividing the cards into three groups. And that means the total sum, 3x, is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way till 9, which is 9 times 10 divided by 2 equals 45. So x equals 15. Aha! So the sum of each of these groups of three numbers is just 15. Okay, so if each of these three groups have a sum of 15, what are the possibilities? Now this can seem really daunting. There's a bunch of possibilities you might think. So the trick is just to narrow it down and try to break it up into cases. Okay, so as I mentioned in many of my previous videos, it's a good idea to focus on the most restrictive condition first, because it will give you the most information. Restrictive condition? How should we do that? Well, notice that with 1, with 1 we've got many possibilities. With 1 we can have, or we can, well, we can have 7, 7, we can have 6, 8, we can have 5, 9, the possibilities are, and then for something like 5, we have even more possibilities for the sum to be 15 in the group. We can have 5, 4, 6, 5, 3, 7, 5, 2, 8, 5, 1, 9. That's a lot of possibilities. So which, so let's try and focus on the number that will have very few possibilities. Because if you can find a number which has few possibilities, we have less casework to do and it will be much easier for us. And notice that, keep, and keep in mind here that you can do anything, they'll all work. It's just that we're trying to find the easiest solution. Okay, so the easiest solution. What is the most restrictive number? And that the most restrictive number is 9. Why? Because for 9 and some other numbers to sum to 15, there's very few possibilities. So 9, let's see. 9, well, 9 plus 2 numbers is 15. What are the different possibilities? Well, we can have 1 and 5, right? 9 plus 1 plus 5 is 6, 15. 9, 2, and 4, that's 15 as well. 3, 3, but no, 3, 3 doesn't work because we're dividing the cards into three groups. We cannot have the same card twice. So just 9, 1, 5, and 9, 2, 4. So now we just have two possibilities that we need to check. 9, 1, 5. Okay, so 9, 1, 5, and 9, 2, 4. Notice that the reason we did this is because 9 only has two cases. Because it's already so large, there isn't really much possibility for the other two numbers. So always try to focus on the most restrictive condition first. Okay, now let's say, let's talk about the first case, 9, 1, 5. And we have six other numbers. So notice that the, this, sum, this sum is 15, but the other two, other two triplets of three numbers must also sum to 15. Okay, so let's divide this up. Now, now what? We want to use the same problem-solving intuition again, focusing on the most restrictive condition. And 9 was pretty restrictive. There are only two possibilities. Is there any number that will only have a few possibilities? Well, 9 was pretty big, so there was only a few numbers that sum to 6. Versus something like 5, which would have like a bunch of different numbers that sum to 10. Similarly, 8 won't have that many possibilities because 8 is also pretty large. So let's say we have 8 and 2 numbers. If the sum of these numbers is 15, then the sum of these two numbers must be 7. So what are the possibilities over there? We can have 1 and 6, 2 and 5, 3 and 4, and the other possibilities are just the same with rearrangement. And notice here, just wanted to make it clear that 
Because we're dividing into three groups, the order of cards in each group doesn't matter. Okay, so 816, 825, 834. These are the possibilities such that the sum is 15. Now, do all of these work? Well, can we have 816? No, because we already took take we already took the one card. So we cannot use one again. So this possibility doesn't work because one cannot be used twice. Right? We're dividing into three groups. There's no card that can be duplicated twice. Okay, now what about two? Five. This also doesn't work because of the five. We don't have a five. Now three, four. This does work. So this is a possibility. And now notice that we can just take the remaining three numbers and they will sum to 15. In this case, the remaining three numbers are 1, 6, and 7. Sorry, this should be, this should be to 915, of course, not 1925. So one, one, two, six, and seven is the possibility that does work. And notice that no matter what the choice is for the first two groups of three numbers, no matter what the choice is, because the total sum is 45, if these two groups sum to 15, then this group must sum to 15 as well, 45 minus 30. So we can essentially just choose two groups of numbers and the third group is fixed. So this is one possibility that does work. So that's one way. Now, 915 was one condition, right? We also discovered, remember, 924. 924. And just like earlier, we'll focus on 8 because 8 is pretty restrictive as well. 8. Now, the possibilities like we saw earlier are 1, 6, 2, 5, and 3, 4. Now, which one of these will work? Does 1, 6 work? Well, there's no 1 or 6 here, so this possibility will work. 2, 5? Nope, there's already a 2. 3, 4? Nope, there's already a 4. So the only possibility here is 9, 2, 4, 8, 1, 6. And that, like I mentioned earlier, that forces the last numbers to be 3, 5, and 7. Basically, you just put all the remaining numbers and they will sum to 15. Because if these two groups sum to 15, the total sum is 45, this group must sum to 15. And that's another possibility. And it, are these the only possibilities? Well, we found that for 9, the only groups they can be in is 1, 5, 2, 4. And then from there, we explored all the possibilities for 8. And we found that these are the only two possibilities. And notice that the reason we can do this is because 9 must be in a group. It, you cannot just leave out 9. Same for 8. So we just focus on them and which group they're part of. And notice that the ordering of the group doesn't matter because it's just three groups, not three ordered groups. So the answer is just two. Wow, cool. Thanks for watching this video.